what's fascinating about the internet and really sort of the ubiquitousness now of the, of the screen and information is it's making everyone an audience member all the time. You know, whether it's you're sitting in a movie theater, whether you're sitting in a uh, concierge lounge like we are today, uh, whether you're, you're at a, a, a concert or whether you're sitting at home watching your television, everybody is an audience. And every time uh, that, that medium is present, there's someone trying to have a conversation with your customer, your dealership customer, and trying to have a conversation with them that's compelling. Uh, and of course, that's getting more and more uh, sophisticated in terms of the medium's various abilities to do that. Uh, and so at the dealer level, it forces us into a situation where we have to look at our current customers and our past customers and say, this is my audience. I have to, uh, in a sense, entertain them, uh, maintain a conversation with them. And this is where obviously social media is starting to play a role in. Uh, I need to also not only just have a conversation, but it has to be compelling. And I have to understand when they want to have a conversation with me. And so that's where uh, big data uh, oppor opportunities exist, uh, where we're mining lots of data about your customers to understand when to have a conversation with them, what conversation do they want to have, so that I can maintain uh, as a dealership that relationship uh, so when they're ready to buy a car, I'm top of mind. Because believe me, between when they bought their last car and today, they've had millions <laughs> of quick two second, 30 second, 10 second conversations with your competitors who are trying to be that top of mind the next time. So the first place to start, and a great opportunity for a lot of the CRM companies in the world uh, to take those CRM databases, those customer databases and really treat them, this is my dealership's audience and how do I engage them? <laughs>